How's it going guys? My name is Jason Hennigan. I am a student here at Oregon State University. I'm currently a third year junior here. I am studying digital communications with a minor in business operations and entrepreneurship. And I'm gonna take you on a tour of this beautiful school here. So why don't we go do that? All right, so the first building behind me here is Austin Hall. It is the home to the College of Business here at Oregon State. Um, me, currently, <clears throat> I actually used to be a business marketing major, but uh, just recently I switched over to digital communications. So my first two years here, I spent a lot of time in this building. A lot of the time, um, about 90% of your business classes will be in this building. And uh, it's really, really nice. Um, inside, I'll take you on a tour of it here. We have a bunch of study rooms that you can check out with your student ID card and you can reserve them for a certain amount of time and you have that entire room to yourself and so you have time to study, do what you need to do. Um, there's also a very nice marketplace and lounge inside. Uh, gives you a place to do your homework and just relax. Uh, there's a bunch of great resources there such as the Career Success Center to know um, a better path of what you want to go down career-wise. Uh, they have academic advising there for the College of Business. And it's just overall a beautiful building and it really, really gives you that sense of home. The building behind me is Weatherford Hall. This is a student dormitory for business students only. Weatherford is known as kind of the poster card of building of Oregon State. Uh, it's the building that really is most known here on campus. <clears throat> mostly known for the arch uh, in the middle. Uh, inside, uh, it's mostly just a bunch of dorm rooms at the, on the fifth floor, all the way up there. Uh, there is a library that you can actually go to and study in, and that's only for access for business students uh, that live in there. But inside, you can find Bing's Cafe, which is a nice little cafe inside of Weatherford Hall. And uh, like I said, it's, it's only really a dorm, but it's just one of the most beautiful buildings here on campus, and I highly recommend you go see it when you if you do tour. So the quad behind me here is the Memorial Union Quad. This is where a bunch of students will cross through campus to get to their certain classes throughout the day. It's a place to really come and suck up the sun when it is sunny outside, and you know, throw a frisbee, to study in the sun, to just laying out in the grass and it's just a uh, nice little place to, to come and decompress after a long day of classes. So the quad I'm standing in right now is the library quad. Um, most students pass through here uh, to go to the library, to go to classes, and normally on sunny days, students come out here and they enjoy the grass, and they sit down and suck up all the sun, but clearly on a cold day like today, um, that is really not the case. Same thing as a Memorial Union quad, people use this grass area to really suck up the sun on those sunny, warm days, but on cold days like today, Okay, so the building behind me here is the Memorial Union. This is probably one of the most visited buildings here on campus. Uh, if you want a nice, relaxing place to study, there is the Memorial Union Lounge that uh, is filled with chairs, sofas, tables, places for you guys to take naps. Really just a place to kind of come decompress, study in a nice, quiet environment, and just get your things done. Uh, there's as well as a to stop coffee shop here as well as if you go down the hall you will find a Wells Fargo as well as a credit union ATM for all your financial needs and then if you go down farther in that hall which I will show you now uh, you will find Panda Express, Togo's and Joe's Burgers so if you ever get hungry and decide that you want to come grab a quick snack uh, those are there for you although sadly uh, those three restaurants are not covered by the dining plan so you will have to use your own money for those but uh, let's take you inside and show you around standing outside of Research Stadium. This is the home of the Oregon State Beavers football team here at Oregon State University. About every other Saturday, this entire place is absolutely packed. Uh, all of this uh, area in front of the stadium here is all filled with a bunch of sponsors and food trucks and just a bunch of different activities for people to do before the game. And then as well as all of Corvallis is packed, all of the campus uh, parking lots are closed out for people that want to tailgate. Um, all of campus is tailgating on game days here. 
Uh, sadly, we aren't the greatest team uh, to ever play, but hey, just because we aren't doing so hot, it doesn't mean our fans love Oregon State any less. Like, go right now I'm standing in front of Oregon State's Goss Stadium. This is the home of our baseball team here at OSU. So behind me here is Oregon State's Goss Coliseum. This is where the home of our baseball team here. And if you guys haven't heard of or the Oregon State Beavers were actually the number one team in the country as of last season. Uh, we actually won the national championship uh, for the NCAA and uh, we actually did that back in 2007 and 2008, I believe. So our, our baseball team is actually pretty well known around, um, around the country here. And uh, this, is where, this is where all of our games take place. And yeah, so students come here, to the same thing with football games, they come, uh, a bunch of fans come here to tailgate have a good time and then go to the game with all their friends and family and it's always a great time and I always highly recommend you check it out when you come here. So right now I'm sitting outside of West Hall which is one of the main dining centers here on campus. Uh, here in this dining center you can find a small little market known as EBGB's. You can find Italian food, Mexican food, uh, all the way to American food and um, they even have a little deli in there for sandwiches and chowders and soups and all of that. Uh, in my personal opinion, I think the best place to eat in inside of West Hall has to be, I gotta say it's Serrano's. Serrano's is the Mexican place here uh, inside of West and they just make some really good burritos. Also, I would also recommend um, the Italian restaurant here. And uh, as you can see here, there's a clip of a breadstick and a slice of pizza that I got. It may not be the best pizza in the world, but hey, it tastes pretty darn good for what it is. Oh, well, speaking of classrooms here at Oregon State, we mainly have three different kinds of classrooms. Uh, the first one, of course, being traditional, like, you know, everyone sit around, pick a seat, and, you know, the teacher's at the front of the classroom teaching whatever they need to do. The second one we have is, you know, the bigger lecture halls that fit about two to 300 students. And then the third one is actually very unique to OSU, and I don't believe any other kind of college does this. But um, we have these circular classrooms, so the whole classroom is in a circle, the teacher teaches in the middle, and um, as you can see, there's chairs lining the classroom at 360 degrees with these big white, um, with these big projector screens that you can see from any angle of the classroom. So it's much more engaging. And those are the three different classrooms that OSU offers here. Well, right now I'm standing outside of Dixon Rec Center. Uh, this is uh, one of the two rec centers on campus. This is the main one for people to go to work out. The other one is McAlexander Fieldhouse, but for the most part, it only has uh, an indoor soccer field and a, a rock wall. But here at Dixon, um, sadly, I cannot film inside as faculty has asked me not to due to privacy reasons, which I can understand. So instead, I'll probably throw up some pictures on the screen to kind of give you guys a better idea of what it looks like. But Dixon is a place where all the students come here to work out on campus. Uh, downstairs, there is all the weight areas, uh, you know, for your free weights, barbells, machines, everything like that. And then also downstairs, we have a full-on, you know, basketball court and gym, along with racquetball courts. And then if you go upstairs, that's where you'll find all, all the cardio. Uh, so, you know, the treadmills, the bike machines, the ellipticals. And then as well as you also have another basketball court upstairs as well, along with an eighth mile track that runs around the top of the facility. So it's definitely a great facility to get a workout in and all the equipment is brand new and it's really, really high quality things. So yeah, and then outside here, I'm also standing outside of an outdoor volleyball court that they do have, an uh, outdoor sand volleyball court actually. And uh, so students come here to play volleyball when the sun is out and just sucking up the sun and having a good time. So yeah, that's Dixon Rec Center for you. Well everyone, I really do appreciate you watching my tour here at Oregon State University. I really hope that I was able to give you a better idea of what this university is like and what the life is like around here in Corvallis, Oregon. Um, with that, I wanted to say thank you and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and that you guys hopefully consider Oregon State University as one of your potential colleges that you want to go. One tip of advice I do have before applying to any colleges is really to sit down and listen to yourself and know truly what you want to do in life and, and what really, really drives you to be the best person that you can be. And once you have that figured out, it's all uphill from here. So good luck to everyone and have a great rest of your day.